about um, a few days ago, you told us that it was just kind of good to get away from basketball for a few days. You come back today at 22 and I think 12 or 13. Just how did it feel to get back out there and what was working for you today? Yeah, it was great to get back out there. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I felt like that was a good break for me just to, you know, get away from basketball and just um, have kind of like a reset. And I feel like my team did a good job of, you know, just finding me in, in good spots. Um, you know, that was effective. And, and for any of the three of you guys, I think it was tied 14 and you went on a 28, I think 10 run. What was it like to play ahead um, like that today? Um, yeah, it was good. Um, you know, we came out, executed, um, played with pace, and uh, you know, that's what we got to do. Um, get out in transition and get easy ones, and of course, you know, feed the ball inside, and that's what we did a really good job at that today. Hunter, KJ had 11 rebounds today. Just how much does it help take the burden off of you and Kevin when he's able to chip in like that? Uh, coach has been, um, you know, trying to motivate him to, you know, get more rebounds um, because he's so athletic. Um, you know, he's going to be more athletic than any player on the other team, and because of his size and strength. Um, that leads to, you know, a lot of rebounds if, if, you know, if he's going after him. And I think, you know, he just did that today. Um, eight defensive rebounds, that was big for us, especially because they were a bigger lineup. Um, they start, you know, two seven-footers. And so um, we knew he was going to need to rebound a lot, and he did that today. El Marco, you had the, the personal 7-0 run. What was going for you during that, and how much confidence did that give you? Uh, just playing within the offense and, you know, like the fast break was uh, big. Um, and, you know, uh, I just ran, got the open spots, and uh, my teammates found me. And for you at this point in the year, like, how much more comfortable do you feel right now than a week ago, two months ago? I feel a lot more comfortable, uh, like, each game, you know, uh, just understanding the offense more, understanding what, uh, what coach wants out of me, and, you know, uh, the, the four guys on the court, you know, um, just, you know, each game, our chemistry getting better, and, you know, understanding uh, what plays, you know what I'm saying, I got to make to help the team get uh, get the win. Hey, Kev, let, let's follow on that real quick. Uh, I wonder when you see a, a young guy like that make a couple plays in transition and then knock down a couple shots, do you think the two are related? You, you can see him kind of get going after those easy ones? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, he puts in the work every day. <clears throat> um, he's in the gym extra, getting it in. And, yeah, once those shots fall down, it just makes the game a lot easier for him. Um, you know, he's competing on both ends of the floor, and that's what we're going to need out of him. And, um, you know, he's stepping up big time, and, you know, it's it's past Christmas break now, so he's not a freshman anymore. Um, he's played in big games, played in big moments, so he's ready. How much are you in his ear telling him what, what you guys do need from here on out? Um, you know, every so often I tell him little things, but um, he knows what to do. Um, he, he's a Division One player. Um, he's here for a reason. Um, he came to Kansas for a reason, and uh, we're going to need him big time. Uh, you guys had kind of a wild non-conference schedule this year. Do you feel like you guys are prepared for the Big 12 starting next week? Yeah, no, we've had a lot of um, <laughs> good tests uh, before the, the Big 12 starts. Uh, I think the Hawaii games uh, really helped us just to play against three really good teams, or I guess two really good teams in two days. And then also I think that Illinois ex um, expedition or um, scrimmage, whatever you want to call it, uh, I think that was really good for us to play, you know, in a really good team on a um, away site. I think that was just great for us. And so I think we're pretty battle tested right now. We've gone through some ups and downs, um, being down double digits versus Kentucky, being down double digits versus Indiana. Um, I think, you know, the, those would be good experiences um, for us heading into March. Hunter, you mentioned KJ just kind of going after the ball a little more and how, you know, hyper athletic he is, rebounding and stuff like that, and Coach talking about it. Is there anything you saw? differently this game from him than previous games out there? I think, you know, sometimes, you know, when he's guarding the four men, um, a lot of four men nowadays are probably out on the perimeter. And so, you know, he's probably a little bit further away from the basket, I think, today, having a guy um, who, who can step out and shoot but does a lot of damage inside. And so, you know, he's going to be around the basket more and rebounds and stuff like that. I think that kind of may be attributed to some of his more rebounds because, you know, when you're down there, it's easier to get him than when you got to come crashing down every time. So, I think that kind of helped, but um, you know, I think he's trying to be more aggressive because uh, he knows that um, if he gets it, he can bring it, and so that's that's um, really good offense for us. That's stuff that we've been working on. So, um, just getting him more aggressive uh, would definitely be beneficial for us. Hunter and all you guys playing Wichita State. Was there any extra motivation being um, from Kansas? I mean, yeah, uh, Co Coach told us you know the history of us playing against Wichita State. And how you know, um, uh, but the last time we played them, um, it, was, it was really unfortunate, and they went home uh, really sad in the NCAA tournament. And so we knew they were going to come in and give us, you know, their best shot. Um, 
you know, because it was, it was going to be a, more of a Kansas crowd in there, and so they, they came in the underdogs. But, you know, they gave us a great shot, especially in their first half. Um, they made us work uh, for our offense, but I think we guarded them really well, and I think that's kind of what led to our run uh, late in the first half. Hey, El Marco, I know you kind of already answered this, but I, I wanted to elaborate a little bit on it. When you get those easy buckets, like I asked Kevin, transition, does, does that inspire you, encourage you to, to take the shots as they come that are, you know, outside shots and things like that? Does it give you more confidence, uh, encourage you to step into those a little more? Uh, yeah, for sure. It makes me feel like, you know, uh, it's kind of just easing into the game. It's like I'm not really forcing anything. Uh, getting, like, easy layups and stuff like that to start the game is uh, – really good for like a player's confidence just to see the ball go in the basket you know before taking a, you know, a shot from, from how, outside yeah. how, how close are you do you do you feel to, to looking for your shot looking for your offense obviously you got four really good players out there with you but but are you getting closer to that oh yeah for sure uh you know um yeah i just feel like more comfortable every single day and you know i'm, I'm starting to understand the offense more of when i can attack um because i feel like that was a thing that was kind of like uh, you know, confusing me a little bit, just knowing when to attack, when to drive and kick and, and, and things like that. So, you know, just uh, being, you know, more understanding of the offense is, is big for me. Is that, is that a real-time thing or is that film? Uh, i say it's both, okay. you know, just being, uh, you know, being with my coaches and, and seeing, like, stuff that I missed or things that I could have done. And, and Kevin, how, how big was the start of the second half? You guys, you know, the 8-0 run right there. I think two threes from those guys, and then the tough layup from you. <coughs> we know it's it's kind of out there. Yeah, um, you know we preach at the beginning of the game in the first four minutes, and then at, at coming out of halftime, first four minutes, um, trying to get to that media timeout, making a run, um, applying pressure, and coming out playing the right way. Um, and that's what we did today. You know we got to do that every time we come out from halftime. Can I talk for one or two more. Guys? Yeah, El Marco, uh, Hunt has talked about being used to the double team. What can you do to take some of that burden? and attention away from him, off his shoulders? Uh, really just being able to, you know, consistently knock down that open shot. You know, if, uh, if I can help, you know, space the floor, uh, you know, it, it'll eliminate that double team a little bit more because I'll have to play to my shot. So, you know, that'll just make it a lot easier for him to, you know, get out and, you know, work on, the, you know, whatever, whatever man's guarding him and just get a bucket, you know. Anything else? Yeah.